You know, people have been asking me if the rumors are true. And let me tell you something. They are. Yes, everybody. For all you who don't know, it is me, the Chris Phoenix, the newest member of the GOG, of the gurus of greatness. And for all you who do not know who I am, please, if you have the time, check out my channel. The link will be down in the description box, just in case you guys have not heard of me. Uh, so, again, subscribe if you haven't heard of me. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> excuse me. Ah, yeah, that's a great way to uh, debut, I guess. So, I kind of want to make this video, this little idea of a video for a while. I was going to do it on my main account till just recently. Ace came out to me and said, so Chris, and I'm like, yeah, Ace, what's going on? And he's like, I want you to do me a favor, bud. And I'm like, what? What's going on? He's like, he's like you want to be in GOG? I'm like, excuse me? He's like, yeah, well, you know, I heard about TLS, saw that channel going down and everything. You, you, you got to do something, buddy. The, 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 we want you in GOG. You have to be in GOG. And I said, you know what, Ace? Only if you paid me a million dollars. And he didn't. I'm kidding. He, he didn't pay me a million dollars. But all seriousness, I said, yes, Ace, I will do it. I said, yes. I said, yes, damn it. So I said, yes. But anyway, back to this video. What did I plan to talk about? Did you see the title? What is your favorite WrestleMania? You know? Because, as you guys know, WrestleMania is about two weeks away. And, you know, I've been thinking to myself, there's been some good WrestleManias out there. Sure, we haven't had a great WrestleMania in somewhat years. And I understand that, you know. I mean, we all saw what happened at 27. Yeah, we all saw 27. 26, I thought was good. 25 could not be more disappointing, in my opinion. Or at least on my thoughts on that. And it's just, you just go down the list and it's kind of like, oh yeah, well this could have been good, but could have been better, yada yada yada. So, what are your favorite WrestleManias? Want to know what mine? I mean, come on, if you want to, if, if you want to share your favorite WrestleManias, comment down below. Make a freaking video response if you want, but seriously, what you can do is just, just, just simply do something. For example, what I thought was a good WrestleMania. WrestleMania 17, and I know a lot of people like this WrestleMania, you know, just for, because first of all, to me, it just feels like every match kind of meant something, even the lower mid-card, hell, the European title, I thought, even meant something uh, during that pay-per-view, you know, it was a good match between two, you know, fallen, you know, late great superstars in Test and Eddie Guerrero. You know, you had versus Kurt Angle, but hey, according to the V, I guess that never happened. Uh, you had the good hardcore match even there, in there. You know, you had Kane, the Big Show, and Raven. Quote the Raven evermore. Uh, you know, you had Jericho. You know, William Regal. That was a good IC title match. Uh, TLC two. To me, that was the best TLC. TLC three was okay. TLC one was good, but two thousand TLC two just had a good feeling to it. Uh, Taker versus Triple H, part one. No, not part two. Part one. Yes, little kitties. These two actually faced each other before WrestleMania 27. Shocking, I know. Uh, let's see what else we got. We all know about Austin's heel turn. You know, winning the WWF Championship, and thanks to Vincent Kennedy McMahon himself. So, and then of course, early in the night, Vince and Shane. So, you just had a lot of good matches, I thought, on the card. And a really entertaining show. And even afterwards, because, okay, because I hate sometimes how the YWC, I think in general, sit here and go, oh, WrestleMania 17 will act like WrestleMania 17 was the last good WrestleMania. And I sit here going, are you high? S seriously, like, there were also good WrestleManias. I mean, let's break this down. WrestleMania 20, I thought, was pretty good. That was a good, nice WrestleMania. Sure, there were some matches, I'm sure, that if you had the pay-per-view, like on DVD, you wouldn't mind skipping. But the rest is just enjoyable to watch. Jericho and Christian I, was good. Cena, Big Show, good. Uh, what else we had? You know, versus HBK, Triple H, good. Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, good. You know, there were just good matches, I thought. Good quality matches on the card, too. And then, I'm like, yeah, you know, you had a Playboy lingerie, 
whatever thing. But, you know, hey, hell, as a guy, I enjoyed watching that. That was eye candy. You know, I enjoyed it. Um, what else? Yeah, you have WrestleMania 21. It's WrestleMania. Okay, here's the thing with 21. People used to ask me, what do you feel about 21? 21 is kind of like a faint memory to me. Like, not as bad as WrestleMania 23, because if you ask me what the hell, who faced who at WrestleMania 23, I'll probably name like half the card, because I forget the rest. Not saying it was a bad WrestleMania, it was good, it was just that I've seen the other WrestleManias more than WrestleMania 23. Like, I've only seen WrestleMania 23 like once or twice, I've seen everybody else, but... WrestleMania 21, good card, good card. You know, everyone talks about HBK, Kurt Angle, great match. Uh, WrestleMania 22, to me, the last good Divas match on the WrestleMania. Yes, guys. Better than Miss WrestleMania, WrestleMania 25. I'm sorry. Santina Morella. She just couldn't make it. But, you know, I mean, come on. Trish and Mickey. And then you got uh, God versus John Cena. You had, you know, Taker versus... Who did Taker face that? Your Mark Henry? Mm. Uh, you had, you know, just... You just had a bunch of good matches on the card, I thought. And it was just, for the most part, built up. And I think that was WrestleMania 2 that you had, uh... Was it Kent Michelle versus Troy Wilson? Yeah, I know. No one cared, I know. But, again, go back to the eye, can eye candy that kind of brings in the older male kind of... How do I say this? Viewers? Ratings? Whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, but... What else? And then, it's just... You got the WrestleMania's there. WrestleMania 23? It was okay, I thought. 24? Could have been better. It was alright. 25? I already said that. And 26, 27? Yeah, you get that point. And 18 was just, like... Not as good as 17, but it was okay. And WrestleMania 19 was good. And the problem I had with 19 was one thing and one thing only. What the hell couldn't a god let freaking Booker T go over? But he's Triple H. Uh, he's not gonna let him. That's right, he's not gonna let Booker T, uh, Chucky Ducky Quack Quack. <sighs> so, you know, that's just, like, some WrestleManias that I could think of the top of my head that I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed other WrestleManias. Uh, I just can't think of the top of my head this very second. Uh, and just, to, to me, it's just, it just could have been good WrestleManias, you know? And I just think this year, this year, this year's WrestleMania is just so, I don't say so stacked. I'm gonna take that back. This card is stacked. You know, there, there's just matches on here that just look good. And they can be good if WWE books it right. If they book it right, this could be one of the great WrestleManias in, like, years. One of the good WrestleManias in years. If they book it right. I mean, okay. Booker T. Oh, Booker T. Wow, I'm not in my head. Big Show. Cody Rhodes. Should be a good match. You know? And the only question I have with this match is one thing. You all know, know Big Show has a history of, you know, like, jobbing out to celebrities and stuff at WrestleMania. Could this be Big Show's moment? Even though it's the IC title, could it be his moment? Who knows? Uh, you know, and then we all know about God and Take or Hona So, HBK, Special Guest Referee. You better know Rock vs. Cena. You're living under a freaking, no pun intended, Rock. Uh, Jericho and Punk should be good. Seamus and Daniel Bryan, people kind of, I think, kind of like overshadowing that. You know, people are like, what's say under like overshadowing? I'm gonna say undershadowing that because people are like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got Daniel Bryan, and Seamus. Uh, next, you know, it's like, okay, wait a minute. Yes, there's not a huge amount of build in that. It still should be a good match, I think. And even though it's probably gonna open up the show, you know, Teddy Long's team versus John Laurinaitis' team in a tag team match, player. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so, you know, it's just, just with the rest of the card, it's just, it should be a good WrestleMania, you know, and hopefully WWE books it right, could be a good WrestleMania, because God knows, we need a good WrestleMania, I mean, t to me, just for years, we've looked at the traditional big four pay-per-views, you know, you look at the Royal Rumble, and you think, okay, the Royal Rumble, not as good as it used to be, but it's still there, Survivor Series, Survivor Series match hasn't that much, SummerSlam. SummerSlam has kind of lost the vibe in recent years, some people could say. So you just want to make WrestleMania still special. You want to make it your Super Bowl. You want to make it, you know, your World Series, your NBA Finals, your Stanley Cup, whatever. You get the point. You want to make this the biggest show of the year. And you want to make this, you want to go out with a bang so that you can get ratings, so that your product can look good and everybody else does well. So anyway, guys, that's me here. 
subscribe down below if you haven't uh, again and uh yeah hope you guys see you later here on the gog because in the end we're great